Okay, so checking out the Falcon 8 Plus, and it's three available payloads here. Let's take a walk down and we can go through these first. So we've got the uh, Sony RX1R, which is a 42 megapixel camera. Uh, definitely the highest resolution option, uh, but you have the least control on this. So once you're in the air, you're not messing with aperture or camera settings. Uh, for that, you would use the Sony Alpha series here. This one's optimized for mapping. It's a 36 megapixel, uh, full camera control in the air. Uh, this is definitely your survey payload here. For an inspection solution, you've got this uh, set up here with the FLIR view, 640 by 512, 19 millimeter thermal. And this Lumix uh, camera here is 12 megapixel with a 30 times zoom. Looking at the Falcon 8 Plus over here, uh, we've got two batteries that run in the back. These just pop in pretty easy here. That gets that all set up. Uh, eight propellers on this, which is really nice for redundancy. If something goes out, this thing will still fly, and it's a really compact size as well. This is kind of, uh, what do you think, the wingspan kind of of an M200 up front there. Uh, really lightweight, really easy to operate, and that's thanks to the cockpit controller here. Uh, this takes one battery to operate. A little bigger, takes some time to get used to, but it balances out really nice when you're strapped in. Something that's pretty cool about this is you could also uh, yaw the aircraft on the right stick by turning that dial. So it's really nice for functionality once you're in the air for, for keeping it straight. All right, so let's take a look at the Sony Alpha payload, how to get it installed. You've got this rod that goes through the center of the drone here and a little cap that plugs on the end. So that's going to slip in through the front. Make sure you line up your connections. That snaps in. And then on the back side, you've got your cap. And there you go, she's secured. Uh, before each flight, we'll want to calibrate this, get it all dialed in just to make sure it's, it's communicating with the cockpit correctly. Just gonna do a quick pre-flight here to get you all set up. So we're gonna make sure our batteries are locked in, tabs are, are secured. We're gonna check our payload as well, make sure that's secured. And most importantly, the connections up here, make sure that's fully seated. And nothing's funky there. We check our props and make sure those are all good and we're gonna power the camera up first. So the camera's got power and now we're gonna to go to the drone. While the drone's booting up we could turn our tablet on and then our cockpit. While that's all setting up we could take a minute to look at our cockpit here. Uh, these two main levers here are for aircraft control, whereas the side is for camera. And these buttons here will help you navigate through the menu. So drones firing up. First thing we're going to do is make sure our return to home position is set right. And do our pre-flight checklist. Once that's in, it's going to take a minute to establish a video connection. We can confirm that we've got GPS by looking on the screen and seeing the big G, and the GPS button is lit up. If that were to go into a fail safe, it would go into height mode first and you would hear it, uh, but then if both systems failed, it would go into uh, manual mode. Right now we're seeing system okay. That's a good sign, GPS is working, and we are establishing a video connection. Okay, so let's get it down to the ground and get her up on a test flight. Okay. All right, so when we're ready to fly, we're going to hold this left stick straight down and the start button at the same time, and you'll see all the motors booting up while you continue to hold that. So we could show how that looks over here. So there's your eight motors spinning up, and then you can release the start button and you're ready to fly.